Okay, so let's continue our work of the permission and role connection and we have completed this part but we have to include this same part on this edit part. So let's firstly complete this one then we will assign this to roles. So I will open sublime, go to resources, views, admin and here is the role, here is the create part let's copy that thing so from this point to this point copy edit and here we have this okay paste it and obviously we need this permissions okay so let's open app http controllers and here is our admin Inside admin, I will go to role controller and as we have done on this create part, we have to pass this permission on the edit part. So here is the edit part. So along with this, we have to part, pass that and also compact method. So permissions, permissions, okay, done, save this and save this one also. Let's go refresh, edit and yeah, we have everything. Okay, so now let's connect this role with these permissions. So I want to permit this editor as create, update, delete and publish everything and also the tag part, but I don't want this one. So let's first see how we will get the data. So if I open role controller again and go to update part and here I will just say return request all to get every data I am getting from the form. So submit this and we only get the name. Why? Because in here we didn't have any name. So let's give the name of role but that should be an array because we have lots of checkboxes and that should be correctly designed so name once more and let's say role so try this one go back refresh two from here two from here submit and four five eight nine that's good 4589 okay that is because let's open SQL Pro connect to block series and where I go to permission and 24 uh, what that 4589 so 4 is post 5 is post 8 is user 9 is user so that's good so do the same thing with this checkbox also for the others so that will be role and with an array and we have to do same thing with the create part so I will go here I will select checkbox press ctrl D one more time that means I can write simultaneously in three places that's very nice thing about sublime text okay so now we are getting the permissions actually that should be permissions not role okay so I have to go and I will then select one more time one two and here I will say permission and that should also be permission and this is okay and one more time sorry about that I am doing all these things so let's quickly per mission okay so I have done all these things so let's once more go refresh one two three four and five so one two three four five permissions I have okay that's nice now we have to save these permissions with our rules so obviously we don't have any connection between the role and the permission so let's open this models folder not s only model folder 
go to admin side then the role side here we have to create a permission so permission relationship so I will say permissions okay and what it will return it will return uh, I will say dollar this arrow so one role can have many permissions and likewise one permission can be assigned to many roles so it's just like a many-to-many -many relationship so for that we will use belongs to many and here we have to give the path of the permission model so app slash model and make sure the uh, capital and small letter of these words so after that admin slash permission okay so I will go to terminal start php addison tinker and I will say app slash model slash admin slash role fine with the id of one that's good and now we have to say permissions so you can see it firstly say permissions model not found because I have used three s here that's not correct okay same thing and yeah we are getting the permission because I have assigned manually this relationship so again if I say one and I will say five okay so again if I run this you can see now we have two permissions for this particular um, uh, role okay so that's very nice thing so we have completed this thing so now we have to save this so if you are following me then you have probably know that we are using the saving the relationship type thing on this post section so when we post when we save the post we are saving the tags and the category also so we will use the same strategy here so we will firstly save the role and then save the permissions so permissions and we are going to sync it so I have type permission okay so we have to remove this request all okay so let's delete these permissions from here and yes we have deleted this clean up this one okay so let's go here and save this so I will submit it and it says unable to unable to find variable call post yeah we have to say role here okay that should be permissions okay so lots of error but with the lots of error now if we refresh here we have these permissions here now let's suppose I want to edit these permissions so I will say only these permissions not any other permissions submit it and refresh yeah the permissions are now synced with different category but we have to say here that these permissions are selected so for that how we will do that let's go to edit and here we have to say here for each for each with uh, what with the role arrow permissions so it's just like we are getting the permissions via the relationship and as let's say role permit simple okay and here we have to say if the role permit arrow ID is equal to permission arrow ID then just say checked and we have to do these things for here also so that we have the same functionality here and here okay that's nice let's go and refresh go to edit and you can see for our check let's select only two and submit and go back yeah we have so some of from here and saved them okay so that's nice very good let's do this for here also and I will provide all these things to publisher that is not true okay but 
let's see yeah everything is working fine so our goal is to provide the editor as to create update or delete any post okay and obviously editor can create tag or category also okay so this thing and no user permissions so we only want editor to be create update or delete not publish submit so publisher what publisher will do publisher will publish obviously it will not going to delete it will not going to create or edit tag okay maybe yeah publisher can delete post because if that post is not relevant then he can delete it okay so I think writer can only create an update okay and obviously the tag part okay submit and it's done so next thing we have to do we have to assign the roles to our users so if I go to users you can see we only have one admin user and if I go to edit we have this checkboxes from where we can assign the roles to particular user but if I go to edit oops it's redirecting me to tag so let's fix this first so I will go to user show and here you can see we have this tag so instead of tag I will say user and this one also going to be user okay and I think this is also a mistake that should be username okay so go user and now if I go to edit part it's blank because we don't have anything uh, in our user controllers so if I open user controller um, here it is and in the user controller we don't have anything on the show uh, on the edit part okay actually we have not created anything for registering user if I go to add new user and if I submit this it's giving me these fields because we are giving this return request all in the store function so actually we have not created anything to register our user okay but if you say where this user came from and the part 22 I have created this uh, user by going to directly to the database and by typing all these things by hand but now we have to create this thing and obviously we have to create with a status also. and we will complete this thing in the next episode because it's too long so if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me message me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram share this video with your developer friends so that everyone got get the knowledge of Laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then bye bye